Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Monday, August 26th, 2019. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, keep in mind that these messages are general. Yes, but they are also timeless. So just because it's dated for Monday, August 26th, it doesn't mean it has to resonate at that time. So whenever you watch this video on any other day other than the 26th of August and it, re it resonates for you, then that is the message for you at that time. Yes. Um, yeah. Oh, I got a new mug. If you can see, it says rock, paper, scissors, throat punch. I win. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was sitting um, at work at one of my, my other jobs uh, with one of my best friends and I saw that and I showed it to her and I was like, oh my God, I have to get this. She was like, um, yeah. <laughs> and I've been wanting to get a new mug anyways, just to add to my collection. So here we are. <laughs> All right. So let's just get into... Um, Let's just get into the pre-shuffle energies we have, all right? Um, the first card that came out was the Page of Cups. And the first thing I heard with that, or I felt with that, or the first thing I picked up on was um, an apology of sorts. But this also feels, in some way, this feels like some sort of new emotional beginning. Um, there has... It's really interesting because what I'm feeling here is both a mixture of past energy, but also um, current energy. Okay, so it's almost like it's a double-sided coin and yet it's not. It's like I'm seeing what I guess what I'm picking up on right now is an issue that extends back that has um, it's been long-standing in some way. And this could deal with family. I'm not... I don't have any official cards of family, okay? In your overall energy, you do have the Three of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles could potentially be a family card when you think about it. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't really have anything specifically, any, any cards specifically pointing towards family. And yet, this, what, what I feel like is happening here is some sort of family issue. Um, now, it doesn't have to be. This is a general reading. Um, and this family could be maybe friends of yours, people that you that you felt were really close to you. Um, maybe, I, I, who knows? It doesn't matter. Take what resonates. It doesn't have to be family. If it's not family for you, then don't worry about it. But if the rest of the message resonates, then just take that. Uh, but it was... It was, and still probably kind of is, a pretty volatile situation. You do have the Five of Wands here, but it's the side of the Five of Wands in which a volcano is erupting. Um, and it's because of, and, and honestly, what I'm getting with this, this Five of Wands here is, this is, whatever this situation is for you or for whomever you're connecting with, um, it has been a long-standing issue. It's something that literally was maybe swept. What literally maybe? Come on, Eric. <laughs> it was. It was something that might have been swept under the rug, or um, kept hidden for a long time until it got to a point where it couldn't be hidden any longer, and the volcano erupted. And now we have an issue on our hands, and we have an issue here in the sense of with this Seven of Cups energy. How the hell do we handle this? And it's it's really perfect. Um, that it's this side of the card that's come out because if you can see here, this gentleman is blind, all right? And he's got all these seven cups in front of him um, and he doesn't know what to do about it. Now, I hear some of you logically speaking, well, how does this guy know he's got seven cups in front of him if he's blind? It's, it's symbolic, okay? Come on. Ugh. Anyway, um... What it is saying to me here is that there are probably a plethora of ways that this could be resolved, that this issue could be, I don't know, squashed. There are plenty of ways that this fire could be put out, and yet there's a form, there's a type of paralysis. 
uh, with the Page of Cups energy, I'm kind of getting an energy that someone doesn't even really want to... Um, doesn't even want to deal with it. At this point, the Page of Cups energy is just like, fuck this, I just want to move on and I, I don't want to have to deal with this anymore and I just want to start over. In a new relationship, I just heard. So maybe this is a romantic relationship for you. Uh, the Three of Swords energy here is also... Um, it's this side of the card in which this person looks like they've escaped narrowly with, <laughs> with their lives somehow. Um, but to me, this is the person is reflecting back on this heartbreak. Um, and there is new life here. There is new life with this, this, this flower that's growing. Um, and then with the Six of Pentacles, there is an energy of trying to figure out how to balance the situation. If the, I don't know why. I'm just getting... Uh, well, um, I'm getting a very strong family vibe here, all right? And with the Six of Pentacles, it feels like someone is like overlooking the situation or overlooking their own life, their own d domain, whatever, however you want to describe it. Um, and they're saying, how do I keep this balanced? In some ways, someone is saying, how do I keep these individuals in my life while keeping my sense of reciprocity? There is a strong sense of self-care with this card as well, with this Six of Pentacles. Because maybe some of the issue here is that you're dealing with some toxic individuals or a toxic situation. Again, we don't have anything specifically speaking towards toxicity, but I'm just feeling through the energies. And what I'm picking up with the Six of Pentacles energy is like, how do I keep my life balanced while staying in a relationship with this person or these individuals or something like that? You could be with this Six of Pentacles energy really trying to figure out whether it's worth it to stay, to keep certain people in your life or not, or for you to stay around certain people also. And with the Page of Cups energy, this is either a new start emotionally where you just say, screw it, I'm going in a new direction, or there is some sort of apology that comes through, maybe that needs to come through. And again, this could be a past energy in which, you know, some sort of discussion was had, maybe some sort of apology was attempted to be made, um, but it didn't really go as planned. Maybe it blew up on you, and now you're in this position with the Seven of Cups where it's like, I, I have no idea what to do. Okay. All right. Well, let's leave that at that. <laughs> And uh, let's see what else we've got going on here. All right, I'm just gonna reset. Ooh, what is this? Oh, whoa, okay. Well, the tower and um, the, <laughs> the four of wands came out. So this really could be about family. This, this is, a, the four of wands is definitely a family card, all right? Um, this could be about family. This could be about your home. It could be a job. It could be a relationship. Okay, something that had some sort of stability and standing. You have the Queen of Cups here. You also have the Three of Wands here. The Queen of Cups talking about compassion, emotional stability, also emotional responsibility, um, em empathy, psychic ability. You might be an empath. You might be someone that's strongly psychic or very in tune with the energies around you. Um, and you're needing to protect yourself. And that really could be what that Six of Pentacles energy is talking about. How do I protect myself? How do I stay grounded and safe and secure without over, over giving, without overextending myself? Now the tower with the Four of Wands is absolutely saying that, you know, Especially with the side of the tower that came out. It was the side of the tower in which we see that the tower is actually hollow. There is nothing there. Okay, so whatever structure is has been built, the mask, and there was also a mask on that side of the card, and the mask was cracked, all right? The mask is broken. The mask is coming off. You might be seeing deeper into a situation in which... Um,
you know it's not good for you, you know it's toxic for you, or maybe some in some way you knew it wasn't everything that it was made out to be. It isn't currently, it currently is not everything that people are making it out to be. I'm hearing it's time to let this go. Okay, but what does that mean? And that's what you're, I feel like that's what you're kind of trying to figure out with that Six of Pentacles energy. And also the Seven of Cups energy. It's like, what the hell do I do? Let this go. Okay, well, what, do, what does that mean? Only you can define that, right? Because this is a general reading, okay? So what that means for you is going to be different. But, oh, okay. Um, I do want to encourage you, and actually Spirit is encouraging you to keep that Six of Pentacles energy in mind. Because for many of you, you've gotten to this, or for whomever I'm channeling for, you've gotten to this position now where it's like you've seen, you know exactly what that tower stands for. You know exactly who these people are or what this situation is. I'm hearing that you've seen through this a long time ago. You saw through it a long time ago. You may have been seeing through it all along. But the, the tower is finally coming down. I just feel like there is a, 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 a deeper side to this. There's more of the situation that's being dismantled right now. And this could be influenced by some new information that you got. The tower does represent um, sudden changes. It can represent sudden, sudden information, sudden wisdom coming in that changes things, which would be indicative of that strike. A stroke of lightning that hits the tower. All right. Okay. Well, we're going to leave it there. And we'll see what else we get for the day. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, August 26th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, three shuffles. Um, I did see green. All right, so this is definitely some heart chakra stuff. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, there's nothing, re nothing else is really coming through with that. This has to do with your heart chakra. This is, has to do with heart chakra healing, all right? This could be a long-standing thing that has been a burden on you for a long time. Um, for some of you, this could be a core wound within your heart that you've been working on healing. And I'm hearing it's substantial. Like, it's not something that's just, oh, you know, just put a Band-Aid. Well, you don't want to put a Band-Aid really on anything, you know, that, that doesn't, that, just like, you know, it, it's, it, it, it's a deep wound. This is a deep, deep wound. Very deep. And it's going to take some time to heal. Allow yourself to go through the motions to heal it, Okay. Just let it happen. Oh, I'm hearing don't take yourself so seriously. Maybe don't take the situation so seriously either. Because ultimately it, it does not define you. It's just a lesson. Okay. All right, last shuffle. Here we go. Best messages, please. Spirit, what would you like to discuss with us today for Monday, August 26th, 2019? Oof, okay, best messages, please. Monday, August 26th. I wanna pull one more time. So I'm not gonna look, actually. I'm not gonna look, I'm gonna pull one more time and we'll see what we get, because my eyes are closed right now. Okay, best messages, please, Spirit. That's the last one. All right, cool. Oh, well, there's that five of wands again. Overall energy, we have the Wheel of Fortune and we do have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck, and it's the same side of the card that came out before. All right, so this is either a family situation or it's um, a home, maybe a physical home. 
um, that you're living in. Uh, or this could just, it could be friends. I'm picking up on that. It could be a friendship situation. Uh, maybe some sort of community. It could, oh, all right. Well, it could be you against a group of people or groups of people against each other. Good Lord. All right. Um, we have the moon. <laughs> we have the five of wands again. We have strength, and this, and look, it's the side of the strength where we're facing the devil. All right, so this is what you're up against. This card came out last week, a few times, a number of times last week. So we could be talking about the same thing for you, or we could be talking about a different situation, but that has similar connotations has similarities to it this could be just ways that the devil shows itself in front of you to keep you down just another way that the devil has found to manipulate you try and get you down try and make you feel less than try and break you down try and make you something make you out to be something that you're not i'm feeling like Whomever I'm channeling for here is the one that needs to stand up against this devil energy. And I do think there, and so, okay, so here is the toxicity we were talking about. Because now Spirit's bringing me back to that Six of Pentacles energy in the pre-shuffle. And, and, and I'm thinking, okay, well, this must be how you try and figure out what is reciprocal in your life in regards to these people or this situation, okay? You have the nine of pentacles. And it's interesting because I do feel like, you know, you very much are an independent individual. And look, there's the tower, there's the tower again. I never noticed that there's a tower here. And I guess in the context of this situation, um, this woman is standing outside the tower. She's free. You are very independent. And it could be, it is, and it could be your independence, your strong sense of self that is so threatening to other people. And could be, and it's threatened, the devil is threatened by it. Right? You have the seven of swords here. With the Nine of Cups and Death. And then there's more. You have the Three of Cups with the Six of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. We're going to get to those in a second. We also have this Four of Cups energy here. <clears throat> the Four of Cups came out sideways. Okay. So... There could be some sort of unrequited love. There could be some sort of missed opportunity, maybe. But I'm not sure you're all that upset about it. You might be indifferent towards it. You, don't, you may not know how to, what to make of feelings of, because I do feel like maybe, you know, you feel like disappointed bored like there was a missed opportunity like there's a, some sort of unrequited love and yet i don't really feel like you're all that concerned you're all that worried about it it's like you know the feeling is there and then you're kind of like well why at this point why should i feel this way at this point i feel like you're just kind of looking over at like this person here you're just kind of looking over at those cups like huh what am i going to do about that <laughs> there's almost there's almost a nonchalance there but it's only because it's been so long the situation has been going on for so long or something like that there are towers all over the place because you have them in this moon energy too
Seven of Swords here is saying that someone was trying to get away with something. Someone still is trying to get away with something. And yet they're... I feel like whomever is trying to get away with something is the person or the are the individuals that are actually doing more damage to themselves than the other person that they're trying to even that like okay so again this is a general reading so take it as it resonates okay you're either this individual here who's standing on their own or you're this individual here who's keeping secrets keeping things hidden um, is trying to get away with something is being deceptive about something. I'm gonna put this Four of Cups in between. Now, if you're this individual here that's trying to get away with something, is keeping secrets on, about something or whatnot, whatever, which is only creating more of an eruption, <laughs> okay, you're only doing, you're the one that's doing the most damage and you're doing this damage to yourself. Because this person here, yes, they may be affected by it, but ultimately they're coming out on top because they're standing strong and firm in who they know themselves to be. And there is nothing wrong with that. All right? If you're on this side of the equation with the Seven of Swords, the Moon, and the Five of Wands, then you are the devil that is standing in front of this individual who's just trying to be themselves. Point blank, period. They also have death here. So there absolutely is a transformation at hand. I almost want to say that it's time to, it's time to pay the reaper. And I feel like the more that this individual tries to keep things hidden and get away with something, the further away this, this individual or this side of the equation here gets pushed away. And actually, you know what? It doesn't even really feel like they're getting pushed away. They are pulling themselves away. Why? Number one, the Six of Pentacles energy that came out before. But number two, because the Six of Pentacles, if you're, if you're not completely familiar, the Six of Pentacles is an energy of reciprocity, the balance between give and take. And that is a huge question for this individual who is sitting in this Queen of Pentacles energy. And it's so perfect and poignant that, it's, that this individual is being represented by the Queen of Pentacles or as the Queen of Pentacles, regardless of whether you are a man or a woman or regardless of whether you resonate more you're dominantly masculine in, in, in energy or f dominantly feminine in energy because this queen of pentacles is more symbolic what does this queen of pentacles stands for she stands for family she stands for honor she stands for truth she stands for reciprocity she stands for unconditional love she is the mother she is a nurturer she's also a hard ass all right she doesn't have to be but she can be someone that could give you some tough love, all right? But more importantly, the Queen of Pentacles is an individual or is an energy that will stick by you as long as you do your work. It doesn't matter how many times you fail. It doesn't matter, matter how many times you fuck up. It doesn't matter how many mistakes you made. Did you learn from the mistakes? Okay. Now, are you putting those, what you learned from those mistakes into practice? to try and do better the next time. Excellent, that's all she cares about. But if she's not, I'm, I'm sorry, if you're not doing that, then she will absolutely turn her back on you. And looky here, guys, her back is turned. And I'm gonna be, and I've said this many, many times, and I'm gonna say it again. As soon as the Queen of Pentacles turns her back, you're fucked. Because it's not easy to get her to turn her back on you. But once she does, you're going to have a hard time getting her to turn back. And it's interesting because what it feels like here is this individual, because they keep bringing me back to that Six of Pentacles energy. This individual is probably having a hard time with this. Especially if we're dealing with family. Because the Queen of Pentacles is all about family. 
I mean, she's the mother. She's the wife. Right? But you see here, she's got the Six of Swords. She's moving forward. Her intention right now is to leave the past behind, to move from rough waters to calmer waters, okay? I'm gonna get to this card in a second. But if you're here stirring the pot, keeping secrets, being shady, being deceptive, lying, cheating, backstabbing, trying to get away with something that you know is wrong, Okay, let me rephrase that because in, in reality, there really is no such thing as right or wrong. So you may, be an you may be the individual that's saying, well, I didn't really do anything wrong either. Okay, but you're still, you're still hiding something, aren't you? You're still being deceptive. You're still trying to get away with something. You're still trying to slip away here in this Seven of Swords energy. If that's what you're doing, yo, check it out. This Queen of Pentacles is not about it. And she would rather leave you and your bullshit and your toxicity and your deception, your lies, your backstabbing, your game playing, she would rather leave you behind than have to put up with that bullshit. She's not trying to put you through it. So why should she accept it from you or anyone else? But she's having trouble with it. I mean, I mean, she's not having that much trouble with it, I guess. The answer is quite clear. It's quite clear to her, okay? And there is a balance here. Three of Cups is a union energy. This is someone that is very balanced, very grounded, very stable, regardless of how much is actually in their bank account, okay? Like, what the fuck does that matter? Anyway, it's the Queen of Pentacles, okay. But this individual is very grounded, very stable, very sure of themselves. They know who they are. They've found their own sense of satisfaction here. So it's not like they actually need you to provide them with anything. They are standing on their own two feet. And yet, she doesn't, this individual doesn't know if they should completely leave this behind or not, even though their back is turned. I still feel like they're still thinking about it. Maybe because it's come up again. Okay. Now, the Wheel of Fortune, I never got into this yet. I mean, we, I, did get, I did talk about the Four of Wands here. The Four of Wands symbolizes some sort of family situation or a home stability, spiritual stability, inner spiritual strength. And it could be from a place of uh, uh, inner stability, spiritual stability, that this person is even able to stand up to this, right? I told you, this person is very grounded, very stable, and very secure. All right? But then with this Wheel of Fortune here, the Wheel of Fortune has, on this side of the card, has the Magician. And he's symbolizing, he's representing the the the, the, ter the um. I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to describe what he's, I mean, what I'm getting with this is as above, so below, all right? And it has a lot to do with some sort of spiritual truth. I feel like what the, the, the strongest thing that I'm getting here is that spiritual truth and honesty is going to win out regardless. That's what I'm getting with this Wheel of Fortune. I'm getting a, bit, a little bit of a karmic type energy. Karma is something that I'm hearing here. Karma is going to be paid in kind. Well, karma is going to be paid, period. Um, yeah. That's what I'm, I, that's, all I'm, that's all I'm really getting with it. I'm trying to find words, different words to describe it, but i just getting a strong sense that um, spirit's gonna win on this somehow. Truth, spirit, like, like, like as above, so below. So like, now I'm, now, now, I'm hearing, now I'm hearing you get what you pay for. 
Ooh. I'm also hearing a karmic cycle is coming to an end. Okay, yeah, that's true. That makes a lot of sense. But with that phrase, you get what you pay for. If you're over here putting deception and lies into your spiritual bank, we'll say, what do you think that payout's going to be? Versus this person here who's living truth, authenticity, and all that stuff. What do you think that payout's going to be? Versus this one. Huh. You know, let that marinate for a second while I figure out what we're doing next. Because I do want to move into the clarifiers, but... Um, I kind of want to figure out how to do this. Because I want to clarify this deception specifically. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go with the tarot. We're going to use our Dreaming Way tarot here. And I'm going to leave this alone. It's Four of Cups energy. I don't, I don't really want to get into that. It's not necessary. Um, I want to talk to this person right now. And then we're going to clarify. You know what? We're going to do this first. I'm going to clarify this deception. I want to understand what this deception is. But we're going to use the Lenormand deck for that. And then I'm going to clarify this side and I'm going to talk to this person here and I want to get some advice for this person on how to move forward. Okay, but let's clarify. What is this moon energy with the seven of swords? That's just feeding, you know, it's feeding this eruption. It's feeding this volcanic energy, right? And I'm kind of seeing this, this volcano as a pimple. I really am. I'm seeing it as a pimple. And this deceptive energy with the moon and the seven of swords is like the infection in your pore that keeps the pimple from going away. It just keeps coming back and coming back and coming back. Okay. I'm going to give this one more shuffle. And let's see, what is this? What is this seven of swords and moon energy here? What is the source of this? What is it? What can you tell us about it? Please, spirit. Ooh, all right. What is this seven of swords and the moon? Seven of swords and the moon, please, spirit. Wow. Not talking, huh? Wow. What? This is very interesting, you guys. Ah. All of that, and then we get the mice at the bottom. You have the swans. You have lilies or flowers. You have a letter, clover, and the mountain. I'm going to start with the one that came out first, which are the flowers here. But those specifically are the lilies. All right. Um, I do feel like there's some sort of reconciliation coming. Before I really start reading the cards, I'm gonna give you my, my, um, my intuitive interpretation of this. Because I started to read the flowers and I was, what I was reading was what I was picking up on. There is some sort of apology coming or some sort of reconciliation coming there is a coming back together, a refusing with the, with the swans here, the birds. Um, now, swans, 
can speak to soulmates, twin flames, potentially, but don't run away with that, okay? Because <laughs> we, are, I, I, we aren't necessarily talking about that here. What I'm feeling with the, with the swans here is energies of soulmates. And soulmates could just be friends, family also. Soulmates aren't necessarily just romantic partners. In all, in honestly, in all honesty, we're all soulmates to each other in some way or another, all right? But this just feels like a strong soul bond that could come with individuals like family members, maybe close friends, your tribe, something like that, all right? Um, I, I feel like some sort of recre, rec, rec, recreation, rec, okay, well, reconciliation could be in the works, could be coming, could be trying to happen, and yet it is a fucking bitch to get to <laughs> with the mountain, okay? Now, recreation. There could be some sort of invitation to a party, Maybe you may run out and be out in the, out and about having a good time, and you may run into this person or these people. There could be an apology coming, okay. And this is, and what what I'm getting with the clover here, is that. Um, it could, it's lucky. It could just happen out of the out of the blue, out of nowhere. Now, but then, because I was like, I'm trying to understand what the deception is. Yeah, well, then you have mice. Now, what this all could mean is that someone knows that they need to apologize. But there is a f fucking mountain and a half in the, in the way of that. And there could be others involved that are kind of ruining those chances, destroying those chances. Mice are, nuis Mice are a nuisance. Mice are pests. I mean, unless you keep them as pets. But in this situation here, they're a nuisance. They're eating your food. They're destructive. They're destroying your home. They're de I mean, they're, they're destructive. This could be internal chatter. This could be your own thoughts and beliefs that are destroying whatever chances you have of some sort of reconciliation. Maybe not destroying, but also just getting in the way. Let me see here. Give me a second, guys. I just want to look into this, into the book really quick. Um, I want to look at this mountain. Yeah, the mountain is just an obstacle. It's a huge obstacle. Uh, please excuse the silence, the pause. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm looking into it. I'm channeling. I'm trying to figure, <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out for you guys. It's a, it's as if somebody knows what I'm hearing is somebody knows how deeply they've hurt someone else. And there is some sort of reconciliation that is wanted. I will, I'll go ahead and say that is needed, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to come through. It's going to be a challenge with, with the mountain here. And the mice, as the overall energy of all of this, are not helping. All right. Let's talk to this person here. Let's get some advice. I'm going to go with the tarot, using the Dreaming Way tarot.
And I just want to understand. I want to help. I want to. I want to help you understand. All right. Whoever, whoever is this person who is standing up, standing on their own, being an independent person, being exactly who they are meant to be, without apology. Nor should you have to apologize for who you are. That goes for this too. Okay, fine. If this is who you are, then this is who you are. But re but understand that you're only creating more drama. Five of Wands. And yes, the Five of Wands is an energy of a, a difference of opinion. Sure, okay. But this is volatile. And you're, everyone is allowed to their opinion, all right? My mother used to say something to me all the time, and I still say it to this day. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one, all right? You're allowed to have your opinion. But when your opinion is deceptive, when you're hiding something, then what do you expect? What do you expect to create but more drama? All right, fine. So for this person here, Let's get some advice for you because you're standing strong. You're standing on your own. And I'm hearing at some point you may even be in the energy where you couldn't give two shits about any of this any longer. Why? Because you found your sense of self. Ten of cups. You see, I told you, you found your fulfillment. And this, the high priestess. Well, shit. The High Priestess is saying, you know exactly what's going on here. Something is about to be revealed, or maybe it's already been revealed, or maybe you just know. What's underneath the deck right now? The Hanged Man. Mm. This situation has helped you change your perspective on maybe just about everything. I'm going to pull one more. Just some advice for you here. I mean, that Ten of Cups couldn't be any more fucking perfect. Like, straight up. Straight up. You are absolutely sitting in your Ten of Cups. Eight of Swords, yes. Okay. Two of Pentacles, the Chariot. Ten of Wands. Look, looky here. What you need to do, this individual, stop juggling. I'm hearing peacemaker. Maybe you need, yeah. Ooh, ugh. All right, look, take this with a grain of salt. But what I'm hearing here is maybe you need to stop being so peaceful about this. And I'm not, I'm not recommending that anyone start a riot. I'm not recommending that anyone start a fight. I'm not recommending someone physically harm another person. But maybe you need to let your anger, your, your anger be known. Um, I'm hearing stop hiding this from yourself. Stop hiding how you truly feel from yourself. It's time for you to put down the burdens because this is not your fault. It's not. You need to put down the burdens and get riding on the chariot. Because you're already balanced. You need to just move forward with your life. Continuing to go after, ah, no, continuing to be your own Ten of Cups. I'm hearing let bygones be bygones, all right? Just put it down. Let the burden go. If this is where they want to stay, then let them stay there. If they know, or if this person knows that they owe you an apology, that some sort of reconciliation is due, but it's on them to make the effort, then let them stay there. Maybe until the time is right. But I'm hearing let bygones be bygones. Don't allow yourself to remain resentful because that's a burden you don't need to carry either. All right? But you know, you know what the high priestess, you know exactly what's going on here. You sure as shit do is what I just heard.
So let that be that. Trust yourself. Your ego's gonna try and get you down. Don't let it. Your ego's gonna try and let you get, get you down. Don't let it. Stand firm, stand tall in who you know you are, and just keep it pushing. You don't have to give any more energy to this situation ever again. Woof. All right. Closing message from the Crystal Mandala. See what we've got here for you guys oracle guidance here closing message for both sides of the equation sure for everybody for everyone oracle guidance please the best what is the best thing we need to know or hear from this deck right now in terms of this situation please spirit i keep yes i keep hearing let bygones be bygones that might be there be, that might be the situation. Maybe, maybe this just needs to literally be dropped on all levels. Maybe there, are, there is a reset button that needs to be pressed. Maybe that page of cups that came out in the beginning of the reading was saying, we need an emotional reset right now. Now, letting bygones be bygones, Spirit is saying specifically, we're saying let bygones be bygones, but that doesn't mean that you need to take, accept any shit from anybody. You learned your lesson here. So either you're just going to drop it, let it go and move forward, or you're going to drop it, let it go and start over. Maybe become a family again is what I just heard. Who knows? I mean, what, whatever, what, however that resonates for you. But there are, there, there are two ways you can do this. You can either drop it completely and just start all over, or you can just drop it completely and be gone and not worry about it anymore, not care about it anymore, not focus on it anymore, not give it any more energy, not give it any more of your time, especially if you're on this side, okay? But your oracle card here is card number 33. Our, oops. Oh, no, I dropped it. Hold on. It is... Ascended Master Helios and Citrine, your time to shine. I mean, shit. <laughs> oh, boy. We bring you the blessing of your time to shine. On the divine path, you gain empowerment through surrender and alignment with divine consciousness greater than your own. As you choose to surrender into higher consciousness through prayer and intention, you are held in a field of divine protection. You also gain strength, wisdom, and understanding. You release fear and gain love's power. You become increasingly radiant, discovering more of your own divine identity. At some point on your path, whilst this is always happening for you on the inner planes, you will be ready to perform a similar function on the outer planes in the world of forms. This is when you will be asked to bravely shine your light to help those in need, perhaps lost or are in darkness of some sort in the physical world. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stop there because we're, we're at 48 minutes already. But um, I love you guys. And I'm hearing just take it slowly. Do what you can. Don't have to worry about this too much. All right? And Spirit says we love you all unconditionally. Good. That's excellent. Okay, guys. I love you all so much. I hope you have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.